Hey gang, it's Danny San here. Um, I'd like to pose a question to you, my viewers and readers. Should I enroll in the Navy? To be honest, I'm at a crossroads in my life. If you've been reading my blog for the past couple months, you know that in June of this year, I moved out of my parents' house to live on my own for the first time in my life. This is uh, not counting college. I really enjoyed being on my own, and I was beginning to pick up the pieces of my life. You see, I had failed out of two colleges by 2007, and my life has been incredibly unstable ever since. Bouncing between jobs and homes, I was just plain frustrated with my life and had no idea on how to fix it. This is uh, when I began to read uh, Steve Pavlina's blog, and things were moving slowly in the right direction, but I didn't really get anywhere until I moved out. After I had moved out, I began to think clearer and was making steps towards going back to college to complete my four-year degree and go to Japan to teach English. However, there was a problem with my leasing agreement. It's a long story. You can uh, read my blog for more info. And I was forced to move out. I went to my best friend, Ariopolis, for help, but his parents didn't want me around to distract him, and they threatened to pull all of his graduate school funding, even if I stayed for just the night. So I really didn't want to do that to him, because he's... He's got a really bright future ahead of him, and I didn't want to screw that up. I went up to uh, my former job, and I told my boss about what had happened, and if he knew of any kind of temporary housing that I could still live in and work in town while I looked for another place to live. It wouldn't have taken me very long to get the money for a new place, since payday was just days away, and even if that wasn't enough to cover me moving in, I could either take out a small loan via, like, a cash land or advanced America, or just wait another two weeks to get paid again. Unfortunately, I chose to move back in with my parents. I thought that I would get unemployment and I would just use that to save up and move back up there. However, I had to go through two appeals and unemployment hasn't contacted me yet about when the over-the-phone hearing will be. They did say that there will be a hearing though, but another letter will say when it will be held and I have yet to receive that letter. It's been 15 weeks since I moved back in with my parents, and I'm flat broke. I used all of my money to move back in and to pay for my first month of rent. I'm now three months behind, and my parents, my stepdad especially, are frustrated with me not paying them rent or moving out again. Since it's the end of the year, not a lot of people are hiring during this time, regardless of how the economy is doing. I've been looking all over my local area for jobs and calling them daily, as well as showing up to ask if they're hiring, and to also check in on my application. My parents then offered a solution, join the Navy. They have all kinds of benefits like paying for my education, relocating me to different places around the world, and so on. My initial reaction was, hell no, I don't want to get involved with working for the government because I don't want them monitoring me closely. I know that the government is watching all of us in some way, but as long as you don't really make a stink, nobody's going to send a SWAT team after you. I know that I'm coming off as some kind of hippy-dippy conspiracy theorist, but I want to have some kind of privacy. There's also the grueling two months of basic training, which I heard was easier than the armies, but still pretty tough. Also, according to my cousins, who are an all-naval family, they won't actually send you to work on another base, not counting training, until you make rank, which could take up to two years. In those two years, my blogging and vlogging could become a major source of my income and allow me to live off of that alone so that I won't have to worry about finding a job once I move. With this, I could travel around the world and still make money, regardless of where I am at any given point, so long as I have internet access. On the other hand, the Navy offers a very good benefits package that could end up very well taking me to Japan like I always wanted and giving me the best health care in the country, as well as a secure job while I'm serving and after I'm done. When you're sitting penniless like I am, surviving only on the 37 or so a month for my blog that usually goes towards gas for my car, it's a really enticing deal. After reading some of uh, Steve Pavlina's posts on making tough decisions, it seemed like continuing to blog for a living was the right choice for me. However, as I began to really think about it, was I really making the right choice? Was I deciding to reject going into the Navy out of fear, or because I'm more passionate about writing? Am I too scared to continue writing for a living because my parents might throw me out and I'd be homeless? This is the big question. How do I know if I'm making a conscious decision or an unconscious decision? I'd uh, really appreciate uh, any and all feedback from you guys. 
you know, if you've been in the Navy or are in the Navy, just to kind of give me an idea of what I'm getting myself into, because right now I'm just basically, like, educating myself, you know, learning as much as I can about, you know, how the inside of the Navy works and what you do for basic training, what comes after that, you know, so on and so forth, you know, how college would be funded, you know, when does that come into play, do I have to wait two, three, four years before I can even go to college, you know, how does this all work? And I really don't want to leap into, you know, something that I'm not at least somewhat familiar with, <laughs> even though my parents and even John have has been trying to, like, super commit, convince me, you know, join the Navy, join the Navy, you gotta join the Navy, you're gonna get kicked out, and I don't really feel right about making, like, a rash decision, especially something like that, because, you know, this is the next four years of my life. You know, am I going to spend the next four years of my life doing something I'm not particularly fond of? Or am I going to be, like, working towards, you know, something greater? Even though it'll be tough, you know, I'll be working towards something. So I'm just basically studying up as much as I can, you know, so that way I can make a more informed decision instead of just, you know, saying no and being done with it. Or saying yes and being done with it. <laughs> Even if I would, you know, happen to sign up for the Navy, from what I've heard, it could take like three to five months before I'd be uh, sent out for basic training. So, I mean, my parents are, you know, kind of treating this like, you know, I'll be gone the next day or the next week or something, and that's just not how they work. I think that, you know, they should just kind of calm down, let me continue looking for jobs, and uh, I probably won't find any this month, but next year is when they're going to begin hiring, you know, around the February, March time. But they also do hiring at the very beginning of the year, too, after the holidays are all done, so I might be able to get into something like that, because, you know, I got hired a lot of times, like, heck, even back in the Taco Bell days, I got hired, you know, in January, February, definitely no stranger to uh, something like that. So that's that's kind of where I am right now. And uh, like I said earlier, uh, any and all feedback is appreciated. If uh, you've been in the Navy, been there, done that, you know, I'd really like to hear, you know, advice, you know, questions I should be asking the recruiter, if I should even join in the first place. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the Andy Sun signing off for now. I'll also put up a poll on uh, my website, so uh, if you just click the link in the sidebar, um, it'll send you to the poll, and uh, I'm just going to see uh, what you guys think. So, uh, this is Andy Sun, signing off for now. You guys have a good night. See ya.